Okay, hi class. So this is our second example. So you can see here that it given a velocity of car at time t. So we have two uh, parameter. First, first one is time. So we have 1.7, 1.8, 2.2, 2.2, 2.4, and then we have our velocity. So this question asks you to find the acceleration of a car at t uh, at two using appropriate difference formula in table 5.1. So if you refer here, the question asks you to find two. However, in this table, it's not given two value. So how we want to how we want to do this? Cuma mana nak buat ni kan? Tadi previously yes we have the value. Now we don't have that value. So we check first our interval. So if we refer back to this table, we can see that one point eight to one point one point seven to one point eight is zero point one. One point one to two point two is zero point four. Hi. It is difference, and from two point two to two point four is a zero point two. So we have we do not have the same interval. So how we are going to solve this problem? So can we use all the difference uh, formula in table five point one? Of course not. So let us check. So if you refer to this table, so you can see here that there are several uh, formula that we cannot be cannot be used because we do not have our have our f x. So we cannot use this one because we do not have two in the table. You cannot use this one. We cannot use this one. We cannot use this one. This is somehow like okay. Okay, we cannot use this one, and we cannot use this one. So in this table, only reminder is uh, three point central and five point central difference. However, we need to check first. Do we have this interval in our? Uh, range of table. So if we refer back to here, for this one, we need to check. So if we have t at two and our interval, we assume it h equal to two point zero. So if we check, we do not have this in the table, so we cannot use this table. So last one, we only have this three central difference. Okay. So because we do not have one point six over here. Okay. Actually, we cannot use it because the interval is not the same. So, if we refer back to this three central difference value, so if our f x is here two, so the interval between two to one point eight is zero point two, and from here to here is also zero point two. So, yes, we have the same interval, and that's why we can use this formula. Okay, can you understand that? Okay, only one formula in, that can be used for example four point two. So at last, just put it uh, back the formula inside, and you have this one. So you have this value two point two. Okay, put it here. Oops, sorry. Okay, and then we have this one. So this one one eleven. So you have here. So our interval is two point two. So we have the value of five point five. Wow, sorry, eh? sorry for this mess. Okay, can you understand? Okay, thank you, class.